Mayor Vaughn, if you could just kind of tell us about the excitement of the big announcement for today. Well, so this is the first time in the building's 65-year history that there is actually somebody who has bought the naming rights. So this will be the first Horizon Coliseum. And it should be a really exciting announcement for the taxpayers of the city of Greensboro, because all of this money will go towards our bottom line, which will help alleviate the stress on the property tax. How long does the contract last with First Horizon? I believe it's 10 years. Do we have a money, money figure that's in the release? Um, I'm not sure if it's in the release, but I believe it's a um, million dollars a year with an escalator. Okay. Um, is there any trepidation for years when, when the ACC or any big event was here, it said Greensboro Coliseum, you had that marking, Greensboro Coliseum, that's gone now. Are we losing something? It is gone, and you know, it's a little bittersweet, but I don't, I don't really think that um, we are losing anything because all of the larger venues across the country um, are branded by somebody. This is a great local relationship that we have with First Horizon. So I think in the end that it's going to be good for the city of Greensboro. It was said earlier that this could be the first step of many to come for the Coliseum. Could you kind of touch base a little bit more on that? No. No. <laughs> no. But there is another announcement next week. Um, so we'll just wait till next Wednesday. How long did it take to bring this partnership together with First Horizon? So there were negotiations that started, I believe, um, in January or late last year, and it came to, um, to fruition um, sometime in July. And, you know, one of the things OBG said was that this was on the list to accomplish in the first two years, and we're only a few months into that first year, so they're really knocking it out of the park.